Hi everyone, it's Lani and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a first impressions mini little review on this powder right here. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is in the shade medium. I think there are three shades, at least that's what I've seen everyone talking about and those were the only three that I saw in my Target. That's where I got it. It was $8. So this is supposed to give you a soft focus blurring finish. And did I say how much it was? It was $8. And let's see. I didn't really do a lot of reading and research. All I know is that it's supposed to be a finely milled powder and it's supposed to give your skin a soft glow and to help smooth the appearance of fine lines and blur your imperfections. So it's also supposed to control your shine and make sure that your makeup looks and feels fresh throughout the day. All right, so I am really excited. I'm always looking for new powders. So when I saw that this was really affordable, I wanted to try it out. So like I said, I got the shade medium and this is what it looks like. The cap is a little loose, but it is secured. I don't know if, there we go. So we're just going to open this. I struggle getting these things out. Okay, so it has a little sifter right there. I'm just going to cap it. And just kind of, I don't want too much product to come out because I've definitely made that mistake before. Okay, I, there's only a little bit that came out, so I'm gonna, a little bit more out hopefully that wasn't too much so that's what it looks like it actually has a really nice tint to it so I'm gonna use this is the elf camo sponge I do really really like this and I'm just going to kind of just smooth that underneath my eyes the concealer I'm wearing today is my dubious place concealer so we're just going to smooth out the lines and the creases. And then we're just going to work this product in. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm not gonna bake with this. I just wanna see how it sets. And that actually went in to my skin really, really nice. That actually looks really nice. I'm gonna bring, get a little mirror so I can really see. Yeah, that actually set my under eye really, really well. Okay, so now I'm just going to smooth this under eye a little bit and going back in. Just going to add a small amount. That blended in really, really well. I don't know, I'm liking this. So I added a little bit of concealer on my chin and down the bridge of my nose and right here in the center of my forehead. So far, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. What I'm gonna do is take a very, very small amount. And now the quarter brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a powder brush and just work in the rest of what was in the cap. Okay, so I am lightly dusting powder all over my face. I don't really like the overly powdered look Currently, I do want to set my face because I do have combination skin, but I'm actually really, really liking the way this is looking. My skin doesn't look overly matte and it doesn't look really, sorry, there's a hair, and it doesn't look shiny. It just looks really healthy, really radiant, just, it looks good. I don't look overly powdered. Yeah, 
I'm so far really, really liking this. I do want to let this settle and set into my skin. I'm going to do my makeup off the camera and then I will come back and let you guys see what everything looks like at the very, very end. And I'll let you know what I think. I'll be right back. All right, so my face is completed. I think my makeup's been on for about an hour since the, when I put the powder on. And so far, everything stayed put. Nothing weird happened, nothing changed. My skin still looks really, really healthy. I'm looking in the mirror. But yeah, my skin looks really, really healthy. It doesn't look overly powdery and I'm really liking the way everything kind of just came together. I didn't do any setting sprays at all. So yeah, I'm really, really happy and impressed with this powder so far. I will be testing this out for a little bit and I'm gonna be trying it out different ways. I'm gonna try baking with it. I'm gonna try applying it with a brush. I'm gonna do a bunch of different things just to make sure that I really do like this product and I will do a follow-up full review for you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.